All right, these are the three pound robots, the Beetle Weights, also the B-side finals here. Dennis has Utopia over in the red corner, a very hard hitting vertical drum spinner. And over in the blue corner, David, you can see driving around Unknown Avenger, which so far has done very well at holding up against these vertical spinners, surprisingly so. It's got very heavy steel plates on the front. You can see the two wedges as well as the, the plate in between them. And it seems to be just about the right size to get around a lot of the spinners that are out there, although Utopia is a bit wider in the front than some of the others, so might be a little bit difficult. Dennis closing up his push out there. On each side of the arena, you will notice there is a, a, a door that they can open up. Uh, that is what we call the push out, and each contestant is, it's up to them whether they want it open or closed for the fight. If you're a pusher and your goal, you're hoping to win by pushing your opponent out of the arena, you'll want yours open. Whereas if you're a vicious attacker like the Utopia here, you want yours closed to make sure that the fight lasts long enough that you can destroy them. All right, the B-side final, Dennis versus David. Three, two, one, fight. And you can hear Utopia coming up to speed fairly quickly here. Dennis was saying earlier he's having a bit of trouble with the electronics in there, so not going to be as high a speed as it's been previously throughout these matches, but he's hoping that it won't be absolutely necessary against Unknown Avenger. Thankfully, it won't be a speed of who's got the harder-hitting weapon. As long as he can make some good hits and take the opponent apart, he doesn't have to be the fastest or the hardest hitting. Getting underneath of Unknown Avenger there, he was pushing Utopia up against the corner, trying to pin him a bit, directing him now over to the Red Hazard. Wants to get him towards that blue push-out, or into the Red Hazard, but not quite able to as they're getting into a bit of a pushing match. And Utopia is the stronger pusher, it seem for a moment. But no, nah, David says, no way at all. I'm going to push him right back into that Red Hazard. Now pinning him from the side into the wall, over into the red corner, across the wall towards the blue closed hazard, or, uh, push out. And now getting around in front of the weapon, a good hard hit on one of the wedge flips there. Oh no, bouncing off the blue hazard into the weapon of Utopia. But David's able to right Unknown Avenger using that arm thing on top, the finger, whatever you want to call it, a chunk of something coming off one of the robots. I think it's a bit of tape or latex on the wheels there of Unknown Avenger. Utopia ramping up the speed. He wants a harder hit for the next one. He is rubbing on those uh, wedgelets on the front, but they are doing a great job of holding the weapon away so that Unknown Avenger can drive him around the arena. He is trying to get him towards that blue push-out, but that's not going to be easy. Dennis is a very capable driver as well with an hour, or a minute and a half to go in the fight. Unknown Avenger ramming Utopia up against the wall once again. Wedging underneath him, Utopia's weapon up in the air, unable to do any damage from there. And that was a big nut that just came off of something. Uh-oh. That was off the end of the weapon of Utopia. That shaft is now only held in on one end. That is not good. It may only be able to survive another fight or two. I can see the, uh, the shaft is making its way partly out. One minute to go. Chunks of something coming off there. Utopia is spinning down a bit, still running, but not at full speed at all, as there's a big pushing match again over by that blue hazard. Unknown Avenger wants to take advantage of the situation. This is to get the B-side final. He's pushing him over towards the blue push-out. He's close. Dennis trying to figure out, where do I go from here? His shaft hanging out over an inch. I can't believe that the drum's even still spinning that way. It is not held in on one end. And ramping up on top of Unknown Avenger once again. 30 seconds still to go. Of course, Utopia doesn't want to spin the weapon down because that's his chance at winning this fight. But at the same time, he may not have a weapon for much longer. It is still spinning, 20 seconds left on the clock. Unknown Avenger hitting him from the side again, pushing him harmlessly out of the way, but he can't use a weapon against him. Over towards the boot push out, he's very close. He's lined up for it, 10 seconds. Put big pushing match by the edge here. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up, that's the end of the fight, back off. My goodness, a story of survival here as Unknown Avenger is able to keep it together, not getting beat up too badly by Utopia, but Utopia barely able to keep its weapon in. This goes to a judge's decision now. We have three judges, and they judge based on three categories, damage, aggression, and control, shown throughout the match. This is going to be a tough decision, I think. There is... I mean, there's definitely some chunks cop coming off of Unknown Avenger. The weapon on Utopia coming apart. Still working, though. Very important. And a lot of pushing on both sides. It is a close one, but unanimous Unknown Avenger is the winner. Congratulations, David!
the winner of the B-side final. He will now be going on to match the A-side final winner, or the, the A-side final, where he's going to have to win twice if he wants to take the whole thing.